What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, you know, it's been one of those busy ones. We had the Michael Irvin situation uh, that we found out about his wife having all, Alzheimer's disease and uh that she's been dealing with this now for five or six years and um you know we, we all feel bad for michael irvin that you know you don't know what somebody's uh burdens are to to hold and that's a, a major one and you feel bad for michael irvin as well as his wife um and his family and you know so we had that going on we ended up signing the ufl uh, linebacker willie and um other things that are going on we find out of course that um trey lance is not looking as good as advertised and so on um i also came across something that was really really interesting um to me that i missed a couple of weeks ago on the pat mcafee show he was talking about the NFL is going to experiment in preseason with not using the sticks. They're going to take a football and they have a sensor the size of a grain of rice that will be able to track the football. Now, the interesting thing on this, and I'm sitting here wondering about this is, will it matter where the sensor is in the football? So here's the thing. If the sensor's on this side of the football, and suppose this side of the football goes in. Or what if the sensor is right here, and this part of the football is just enough, but that's not enough? How's that going to register? Ooh. Or is it sensing the whole football, that it, like, electrifies the whole football, that when it goes to, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm curious. I would love to know how that's going to work. But, you know, if you've played football, you've known always of having to deal with the chain gang that's going through there. And, you know, if the links and stuff are, are messed up and things. But this may be something that's good to help the Cowboys because we've had calls that have gone back to where we looked at and it's like, bro, that looked like a touchdown or that looked like a first down. And the spot was bad. Now, it'll be weird to be looking on the sidelines and not seeing the sticks and my question is will you have the sticks there as a backup because what if the p because you know we've had it's situations where like the uh wireless headsets stop working in stadiums what if the grain of rice size sensor stops working is there a backup these are questions that i have but let me give you an example of what i'm talking about how it could actually help the cowboys I'm, uh, forgive me here. I want to give credit where credit's due. This is a video from two years ago from uh, Taking On Sports podcast. And he goes through here. Now, now mind the, the language on here on this call. Now, All right, let's just dive right let's into just it. Let's just dive right Prescott into it. Here on fourth and goal. This is controversial, no touchdown call. Let's just, let's just dive right into this absolute horseshit of a call. Horseshit. There they are. They go up in the hurry up offense. Dak, look, Dak is in. Everybody knows it. It, it. appears that he's it. in. He's in the end zone. Look, every player's he's getting and, held and, up here. And, the ball comes out. And he stretches the, the ball. The rest blow the play dead. They're trying to figure out what in the fuck is actually going on. Excuse here. his language. Nobody knows. The refs are just looking around. They're all trying to get together. Billy, what do you think? I don't know. Bob, what do you think? Philadelphia ball? What? Here comes this head honcho mm -hmm. saying Philadelphia ball. That was bullshit. What's uh? I mean, we're gonna get this at replay here. Look, Dak's like, what in the? F He's what yeah. in the fuck is going on? Are you guys blind? You'll see it on the replay. Don't don't be hating. Here comes C.D. <laughs> Lamb in. Look, Dak Prescott okay. knows again. Now here's a here's a breakdown of it. Look, Dak Dak's already in there. The ball may not have crossed. Let's take a look. The ball's now, in. Look now, at the extension. Here, here's the one Dak thing. Dak is in the end zone. That's clearly. Now, I'm going to give a shadow of a doubt where this could be. This is where it could be a little bit off. Because what you'll notice is the football is here. And when you're looking at it, you have to understand that the camera angle is back here. Which will make the line on the other side appear to be 
a little bit further. Now, you see him extend the football. He hasn't touched the ground. It looks like it is. It looks like it is. And it ends up being a judgment call. And you know when it's a judgment call by the officials, it never goes the Cowboys' way. It very rarely does it go the Cowboys' way. Okay? So it is one of those ones that you kind of say, mm, Ask the I don't plane. know. Shit, I think his hips are over there. You know, look, a ball gets knocked out there by some asshole trying to prevent the touchdown here. Look at that get in. Ball short, ball short, ball's in. It stood up. Reaches even if he doesn't get in, they should have blew the play dead, where, where, which I think he was in early. So it doesn't matter. This should be you, a you touchdown, right there. Cowboys. Look at Mike McCarthy here, dude. Okay, we can't tell if so, he's looking at the jumbotron or. If okay, shout out to my man there. Appreciate that. Um, whoop, wrong one. All right, so. This is Pat McAfee actually talking about this. So in a situation like what we have right here, it, we wouldn't have to rely on the official's eyes. We'd be able to have the sensor in the football to know, boom. Now, of course, this brings into question, what about understanding when contact is made? So it's, it's like you're bringing in something that, that, that'll be a device that'll be helpful but not completely. Are you going to end up putting sensors then in the knee pads so we know when the knees touch or the elbows touch or something touches, okay? But listen to Pat McAfee describe it. I think we're all pumped about mm -hmm. inevitably. Mm -hmm. Pumped, excited. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's about time, some people say. <laughs> sure. But what makes football football are the little minor details mm -hmm. that you can only see in football games. And we made it to an era where the internet and apps were streaming NFL games to the tune of like 20 million people on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. And in the first game of the streaming era, during that game, the most antiquated, archaic thing that football has made an appearance. Sure. And that's chain game. Ever since you're a little kid, mm -hmm. playing a little youth football, mm -hmm. parents are putting on pennies and dragging these things around. And whenever you put them on top of each other, the chains would get all intertwined. And you had to have a Terrence Howard-like brain to get it undone. <laughs> and if there was a little bit of one, is now first down nine and a half yards, or is it 10 yards? Now we need those chain links absolutely separated. And then as you get into high school, obviously those are those are refs and they're bouncing around. You get to know these people that are part of the end. You get to college, holy hell. It, Bring it out for a measurement. <laughs> These guys are out in the middle of 100,000 people in college. And then in the NFL, you're talking about jobs and billions of dollars and futures of cities and families on the line from these 97-year-old men coming out with these chains and measuring them. We all remember the greatest moment that has ever happened with a chain uh, gang came with Paisan from Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. Gene Steratore's usage of this. an index card because although the chains were certainly efficient because I'll tell you what, those chains were 10 yards exactly pole to pole uh -huh. every single time. But every once in a while, the eyeballs weren't as good as the chain gang and you had to figure it out. What is the chains? What's it saying? Get away, get away. Gene Steratore's trying to eyeball this thing. He says, you know what, boys? I don't think our eyes are going to have to be able to do it. We're going to have to feel this one. I'm gonna grab an index <laughs> card. You, you wanna see it? You, is that what you said, Dak? It. Look at it. You're right. That is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, I did that shit. First down. 17 <laughs> 17 in the fourth quarter. Oh, man. AJ, they're eliminating those. Lasers in the ball, sensors in the ball is gonna be tested during the preseason and inevitably get implicated into the regular season like we all thought. But it was a hell of a run those chains had, AJ. Mm -hmm. And I know you would have something very special to say as a guy who obviously loves the football. Well, how many how many players have been injured over the years because the poor chain gang is, guy yeah. isn't paying attention? Someone's coming flying in the sidelines and they don't drop it, and all of a sudden their leg snaps on one of these poles. Like that's one of the things I think is great that will possibly get out of the football game. Yeah. Now, I see, I thought you were that. maybe going to pay tribute to the chains, but instead you added another problem that these uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes older folks. Bugs, I hate watching games when that continues to happen. I'm like, watch the game. If you're holding, if you're part of the chain gang, you need to be watching at all times. You better. There's a lot of pride. And a lot of the guys yeah. and girls that are holding those chains, but there's some people who get a little bit too comfortable. Oh no! Here's a little bit of a oh no! 
First down's eight yards, I guess, tonight, boys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> how come? Well, we got this thing all tangled up. You know how logistics go. Fred put this thing in his truck. We didn't have gas. We had to change it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they wrapped it up. They thought this was smart. Everybody's the smartest person on earth, huh? That's, that's the full conversation that's happening oh, here. That. And now with the evolution I of technology, that. we'll be using sensors Damn. inside the ball to say exactly where we are. Everybody's assuming that it's going to work like tennis. But if you listen to some tennis players, tennis players will say, oh, is that right? Is that what it said? Because my eye literally just saw that it wasn't out but the sensor's telling me it's in this is going to lead to even more conversation yeah. Yeah. and no matter how far here's the first one ever obviously here and uh, <laughs> these are first guys ever that uh, created wow. the, guy Congrats, in the, middle, the guy in the middle actually created the, the hand swipe to change the downs yep. yeah. is that Joe DiNardo's oh. dad? so yeah. the down market still be there? Yeah, what's it going to look like? That's Frank, Frank Furco. I hate yeah. this. I don't like this either. I this hate it. I mean, it's weird. Weird. Will they be there, though, so we can at least, yeah, can they, people look at it? They should yeah, still like, be there, right? Like, because obviously it's a lot, have to a be lot there of technology. How are we going to know what down it is? Ball right. to ear? So, like, mascots? Yeah. Like, who announces what down and what the distance is? Do the, do the refs know, or is it just They're going to have to have the number, at, the, at least at the line of scrimmage, right? They're going to have to have. James will be a backup if this is a success, that says. What about the drama? Okay. Like, when Gene pulling that in there, the players, when you're on trying to get a peek, you see it and you get that. It's true though for TV. TV wants that there. Say, yeah. say if it's third and nine, how do you sit, sit at the sticks? Now I'm over here yeah. that was a quick, thinking, yeah. trying to count every line. Yeah, the oh. sticks got to be there. Gotta it, it's going to be there as a backup. Sometimes, Sometimes right? you yeah. come well, up with have, something new. They have to have something that is with the. Right? They just yeah. won't come yeah. out and measure with the chains, but they still should be there on the sideline, I think. Remember, Bill And Bell so people will still get hurt, I guess, by <laughs> the guys not paying attention. Part of the game. So well, we know, we're not going to fix them. the injury part of it. What did Bill and Raj, Bill and Raj uh, were talking? I don't know if it was doing their sit down with cards. going to be or, kind of like instant replay. Uh, some other time. But I guess Bill Belichick has been pitching for like 20 years. We need a camera on the first down yes, line. That was the sit down. Yeah. We need a camera on the end zone. And we need a camera down each sideline. In every game, if you want to use it, fine. Um, for they TV. have those. If not, we don't care. This is what needs to happen, and put it in a place where it can't get blocked by a wide receiver or a corner or a tight end or anybody on the outside. Like we just need. I think that is the answer. Like, it, and then you can have the humans that are still. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna go against what everybody's saying here, and I appreciate the football purism that's taking place. I'm 100% okay with us not trotting that fucking thing out there. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Ever again. I'm I'm very okay with that. I, I just, I'm bummed out that football's losing a part of football lore, but this is only going to add even more questions because as soon as I, I read that it was censors, I'm like, oh, so who's telling the, who's, mm -hmm. who's exactly. telling the censors? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who's telling the censors? Who, who's telling they're going to fail. At some point, technology fails. They're going to have to go to the backup, and we're going to have mm -hmm. a chain gang crew. And with the, you know, trot out there, and they're not used to doing it anymore, too, because they've been taking it easy. If they're, just, they're trusting the science, I guess, or the technology so far. And with the scripted conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, bingo. Yeah. What about the most yeah. important? The Chiefs are going to pick up a, a f Chiefs are going to pick up a fourth and five with a three yard gain. Yep. And people are going to be very confused. Yep. yep. And everybody's going to go crazy. And Patrick Mahomes is going, I didn't tell him to do it. Why you hate me? <laughs> Don't hate me. And you want to take it first down? It was. What do you want from me? A sensor, laser? You're smarter than that? Sorry. You Terrence Howard? <laughs> okay. That's what Patrick Mahomes is. Right, most important we're, first we're, down. They're going to use it on the goal line? Yeah. What about a fumble? I'd like to hear how you guys feel about the idea of getting rid of that. Um, that's going to be interesting to see to see how it's going to work because I still think you still have to have it on the sidelines. Uh, you don't just say, "Okay, we're done. We're going to rely totally on technology." You got to have a backup on that. All right, good people. I hope you all are having a great day, and we will see you soon. Peace out.